My name is Donna Gardner, and I'm just giving response to the discussion thread regarding experiential therapy, uh, the Gestalt theory, the Rajendirian theory, as well as the emotion-based theory. And I needed to put them all together to deal with the similarities I saw in the thread and an example I can utilize to deal with how experiential therapy is meaningful in terms of increasing a client's awareness, self-actualization, and ultimately reaching holism. So in the Gestalt theory, we're thinking more along the lines of increasing the client's awareness of themselves, um, as well as increasing their ability to focus in the moment of dynamics of feelings they may be experiencing with what's going on. With the Roger uh, theory, it deals more with a client's ability to just um, connect with congruence, um, empathy, as well as acceptance. And this is despite outer occurrences and environmental factors, uh, people pleasing, living up to ideologies, just coming into more increased uh, awareness of internal locuses of control, thereby empowering the client to see that they also have the range and enablement to make more fully informed and better choices. So in the example I gave regarding experiential therapy, I'm going to give an example where we worked with a client who was challenged to deal with a dad issue. And so we put in place a bear and as the father and had the client make connection with the bear in terms of pretending that the bear was their dad and the client being willing to express words and share concerns and thoughts they had uh, for the father. And so as a result, I would like to just play out the example of that. So as the therapist told the client, please share with your dad feelings that you may have had when you were growing up or in your developmental years. And in this case, regarding experience, we wanted the client to be in the moment and to just imagine that the bear was the dad. And we allowed it to be a bear intentionally so that the client will not have threats or pose uh, imaginations of intimidation. So the bear was intentional. So with this therapeutic approach, uh, being experiential and in the moment, the client was challenged to lock eyes with the bear and even be encouraged to come and hug the bear and share with the bear, being in the form of father, um, how they felt as well as yielding and offering forgiveness. So that was the scene set up for the client being in the moment, gestalt wise, um, learning how to accept their role and responsibility in a given situation and seeing being empowered to make a choice in terms of addressing the issue and coming out more holistic and better on the other side. Regarding the Rogerian theory, um, the uh, client also being um, aware of their surroundings and also being empowered to see that they have value and that what they have to share matters. So that was my um, recollection of that example of having experiential therapy, um, definitely utilizing um, some type of role playing with something innocuous as a bear um, in the form of that primary person that was in your life that had an impact, um, be it negative or intimidating or otherwise. And as a result, there's a lingering question to be asked to um, the therapists that are embarking upon going the experiential therapeutic factor way, and that is how can the therapist increase in their level of becoming congruent with themselves, accepting and owning things in their lives that um, are challenging, threatening, and intimidating, and them being increased in their ability to deepen as a result of that dynamic in their areas of acceptance, compassion, and empathy.
Thank you so much. Again, this is Donna Gartner, response to the discussion thread for experiential therapies regarding the Rogerian, the Gestalt, as well as the emotion-based therapy um, differences, as well as similarities. Um, thank you so much, Dr. Johnson, for your input all through the week and your prayers. And there is a scripture that I'd like to lastly share, and that is, Physician, heal thine self. And that comes from being in congruence with your maker as a result, increasing in your acceptance of yourself. And as a result, being able to be an effective contribution to your time and space here on this temporary earth. Thank you again for allowing me to share. My name is Donna Gardner and I'm signing out.